All right, got everything set up in terms of streaming. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're gonna have one match right now. Uh, Duck Soul versus White People Happy. Uh, haven't missed much. I mean, so far, so far we're just on the warm ups. So. Yeah, just have those to get out of the way and then we'll get into the into the match proper. But yeah, two teams that I think both looked pretty good last uh, last round. So I am expecting a pretty close match, pretty entertaining one. In terms of what both teams are good, what their strengths and weaknesses are, um, I expect White People Happy is going to pick a lot of speed and hard rock because they have a lot of players for those skill sets that are really good. Like, for example, they have a uh, Kon Kon Kitsune who, like, Bro almost FC like the Senya Songs comp, the, the hard one with DT. So I think that tells you plenty that he is very good at speed. Um, and then, you know, Flames Tier also has gotten some very, um, very good like stream scores in solo play recently. Meanwhile, outside of uh, Duxall, I expect a lot more like Nomad. And hidden, like maybe like give me your gimmick ear picks, because that's something wide people happy is probably less prepared for. Brief reset so we can see the chat. Oh my god. Why is Client auto play this of all songs, bro? Alright. So Duck Soul, it looks like we're just gonna get into it. So there's not a second warm up. Okay, nice. We spend less time waiting. Awesome. But yeah, you can see the whole pool here. Um, the pooling in this tournament is a little bit, it's a little bit unconventional. Uh, but I think. I'd say like 80% of the picks are like mostly what you expect in terms of what slot they're in. So on White People Happy's side, I think maybe they'll ban like... I don't know, there's a lot of wild cards in this pool. Stuff like the Aspire map where it's like, it just depends on who's learned it. That could be a ban. Maybe like Nobod 5. Hidden 3 could also be bans. Um, they do have two bans, so uh, multiple options to go for. Uh, meanwhile, on side of Duxall, I wouldn't be surprised to see like speed bans. So maybe like something like DT3 that has a very high stamina requirement, they could ban. But for now, it's white people have these bans, so we'll just see what they go for. Should give a pretty clear outline of um, what kind of skill sets both teams think they have the advantage on. Um, whether or not that plays out is, of course, remains to be seen. But they are, uh, they're taking their sweet time with this, so... Maybe they're debating a little bit, not entirely sure. Okay, 
Oh wait, so they do bend the hidden three. It is a pretty tricky map, so uh, probably the hardest hidden map. So pretty understandable. Yeah, because like Duxol's first two picks, the Korean dynamic duo of Crazy and Wujul are both really comfortable on uh, hidden. So it makes sense. And then they'll go for a speed ban on Duxol's side with the DT2. So yeah, that map is a very high raw BPM pick. Wait, is there two bans? Okay, well, I mean, I guess not then. <laughs> Alright, so I suppose it's uh, I suppose it's Duxel's pick and they're gonna go for some... Okay, I'm gonna wait for the ref to sort this out. I think it's two bands though, that's what I heard. Uh, I think it was changed on the forum post to two bands. I mean, I doubt that wide people will ban... No Mud 1 in response anyway, so... Because, yeah, I mean, Nomad 1 is the kind of map that basically anyone can play. I doubt it would be banned. Um, yeah, but just, just a little bit of a hiccup. But so one of the teams will have a ban now. It depends on what ban order we're using, which I'm also not entirely sure of. But, I mean, at the end of the day, each team will get one more ban. So, a, a bit of scuffness in the tournament. Um, unlucky, but it is what it is. I'm very happy they picked like a decent song for warm up. All I saw is when people are like stalling, and then you have to listen to a. Uh, like a bad song on the stream. But yeah, I think Ref, Ref just needs to get it sorted out and then we can get one more ban on each side. Okay, but it looks like wide people happy is gonna get another ban here and they're gonna ban uh, free mod 2 So yeah, this free mod 2 is a very typical anti-mod map. It's like low AR high CS the typical also a pretty flow aimy map So they can be very weird on hidden very difficult on hidden so Gonna get rid of that uh, on the side of Duxall I, I don't know if they can double ban. If they can double ban, I imagine they would ban DC3. Because they don't want to play speed, clearly. But if you can't double ban, then uh, I think they could definitely ban Nomad 2 instead. This Nomad 2 really not a typical uh, Nomad 2 stream map. Because it's a lot higher BPM than normal. Kind of fills the spot of a speed map. But no, instead they're going to ban Hard Rock 2. I mean... Not entirely surprising because it is also a good skill set for white people happy, but hmm, all right. So it'll be Duxel's first pick, and they'll probably pick Nomad One. I mean, that's what they said they wanted. All right, and there it is. So yeah, this is a. Uh... What some could probably call a uh, troll pick. Everybody do the flop. Pretty well known, like, aim farm map. Bit of a funny song as well. So yeah, going for what's kind of a, a... What I think would be a kind of risky pick right away. It's a very short map, so... You find one break anywhere, then it can be all over for your team. Especially considering this is like a relatively 
It is a relatively easy map in this pool. So FCs are very much expected. Okay, the teams are on the wrong sides right now. Awesome. Okay, they're they're getting, they're fixing it up now. But yeah, very comfortable to a map. I mean, it is literally a farm map, so you should expect that. The angles are all very comfortable, acute angles, very player friendly. So the only thing it's testing is if you can handle pretty big jump spacing. Looking like we're almost there. We just need one more. We need one more person on Duck's all side. I think maybe they can put like Zed drone in or something. I don't know. Honestly, you can just put in whoever you want on this kind of map for the most part. Because uh, with players at four digit level, I think all of them can FC this. It's just a matter of consistency. And if you get a good uh, roll on. In lobby. I mean, also, I do want to mention this is a winner's quarterfinals match. So, both teams have one win under their belt already. So, you should expect that they are, um, you know, kind of on the upper caliber of teams. So, we'll see if they live up to that just about now. Uh, semi. Okay, two breaks right away from white people heavy. Trade one, for, uh, trade one from Wildcat, but initial advantage is definitely going to Duck Salt. Bujo breaking, semi breaking again. Okay, not gonna lie, this is a lot more, uh, a lot more misses than I expected at this early stage of a map. But the trades are gonna go a lot in favor of Duck Salt. Okay, semi is not having a good time right now. Actually, all of white people have is not having a good time right now. Uh, with the exception of extremities. And yeah, there's actually only two FCs in the entire lobby now. Um, but the recovery is definitely a lot better on Duxall still. And they've already banked up a pretty big score lead by virtue of how short the map is. And yeah, now the only big combos are gonna be on Duxel's side with extremities breaking there. And there's just about nothing that white people happy can do anymore. So it'll be actually the first pick very securely taken by uh, Duxel. So showing this was a pretty well educated pick, and Crazy and Wildcat are gonna close out those uh, pretty big combos. So good stuff to them. Yeah, I did not expect to see a 1.2 million score lead on this kind of map, but here it is, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, Semi apparently having some sort of computer issues. Unfortunate, but it does happen. And um, even if you FC, that would not have made a difference. I mean, on the whole team performance, Duxall did a lot better. But yeah, so it is uh, Duxall's taking their first pick in pretty, pretty secure fashion. Gonna be up to white people happy to try to do the same thing on their own pick here. I think uh, DT3 could be very likely, or maybe a hard rock. That's kind of their, um, that's kind of that team's calling cards, per se. Maybe a Nomad 2 as well, but it's a bit of a weirder map. It's kind of gimmicky with the AR9, so I expect that a little bit less. So yeah, some Hard Rock or some DT. Those two rows of maps I think are pretty likely. Oh wait, they're gonna go for Hard Rock 3. Banger. Blimp. 
Do you want to ride my blimp? Yes. So yeah, got kind of going. Uh, both teams going for some pretty, uh, pretty short maps to begin with. This zone's also basically a TV size map. One minute and thirty seconds only. But yeah, pretty well known map and pretty well liked, I believe, among the Tornado community. It's basically just a snap alt map, and on a banger at that. I'd be very surprised if we see Extremities Hard Rock. That would be kind of a first. Bro does not play this mod as far as I know, but maybe he's maybe he's just typing into the power of the blimp. But I don't I doubt he's gonna stay in. I mean the rest of his roster makes sense to me. I mean Amaro, Flames Tier, Semi, all pretty comfortable hard rock players. But yeah, this also has the chance to be a very volatile pick because it's kind of a diff spiky map. Like there's just one part in the middle that's pretty challenging, but there's a lot of filler besides that. So it will all just come down to hits the very short, intense part. Oh yeah, so we're gonna get Kagami in on side of white people happy. Pretty expected. Um, meanwhile, on Duxall, huh? Uxico getting subbed out is a bit weird to me because I know Uxico is kind of like a hard rock specialist, so he's not in for his kind of map. I don't know. I mean, not to not to rag on all the Duxalls players. I mean, they're pretty solid at hard rock as far as I know, but I don't really know him as hard rock specialists. But yeah, enough speculation. It is time for gameplay. We have the MP start out, so we'll be getting started very shortly. But yeah, beginning part of this map is pretty tame, so you're really hoping not to see any breaks um, from either team. But there can be an accuracy advantage established pretty early. Okay, Semi might be continuing to have one of her computer problems you was having earlier. That seems like a very weird miss. But yeah, the accuracy is way more solid on side of white people heavy, so it'll keep it in their favor for now. But that will not stand if things uh, stay as they are right now. Because Duxel has the combo advantage, so they are calling it back very slowly. But this is the hard part, and we have managed to see a lot of breaks here. Lujo is going to be the first to go. Erdnos holding up pretty decently so far, but crazy not. Uh, Ycat down as well. So Deathhawker here is really Duxel's last hope here. Meanwhile, white people happy all nailed that. And they're looking very solid right now. Already having a 300k score lead and, and very quickly counting. <laughs> Uh, and I think with that last fighter and Death Hydra breaking, that it was just about the death knell for Duxol. So yeah, white people happy. Doing a very good job on this one. And they have uh, one FC to maybe try to close this out with Flames Tier. A uh, very well reputed hard rock player as of late. Um, <laughs> he kind of missed on nothing there, but alright. He is still going to top score the lobby, so nothing to complain about. Yeah, um, that's both teams winning their own point by over a million. Don't see that every match. Uh, but yeah, of course, uh, Flames here with the standout performance. Uh, but also, the rest of his team doing pretty well. Lowest score on White People was high, higher than the highest score on Duxall. So, once again, it's a kind of situation where one team is very clearly more comfortable than the other. But yeah, I, we do have a long ways to go in this match. That is, uh, it is best of 11 already, as you can see. 
So, you gotta hope for both teams that they got four more picks in the bag that are just as solid. So it is Stuxel's time to try to strike back. If I'm them, I'm kind of looking at, um... I'm looking at maybe like an OMOD 5 is a good option. Okay, they go something pretty similar of Hidden 2. And so yeah, this Hidden 2 is a very... I don't want to say iconic map. I would say more infamous. Uh, what it's best known for, of course, is this is the map that Cookie Z used to get himself banned. Um, but he played it three mod, then we're only gonna be playing it with uh, Hidden, unfortunately. But yeah, it's um, very typical, sort of low AR map. It's just pure jumps, pretty much. This has a lot of square geometric jumps. That's like the main idea of the map. Actually, um, yeah, so what this accomplishes for Duxaw is of course, they themselves have a pretty good Loyar roster, but um, on side of white people happy, Extremities is very well known for playing like easy, so he's probably got this. Um, and Semi is pretty good at Kimikura maps too, but beyond those two, they don't really have players who specialize on this. I mean, Amuro and Kagabe are like okay at Loyar, but it's not their strong suit per se. So, pretty well educated pick, but if I'm trying to make the case for white people happy, it's a pretty easy map for this pool. So, if they get just some little shit misses out of Ducks All, then could go their way as well. But yeah, I'm pretty sold on Ducks All's roster for this, especially crazy. Veteran of the game, been playing for like more than a decade, and um, he still got it, especially on Loyar stuff. This is like his specialty. Alright, got all the quiet issues resolved. Uh, not sure if Semi actually broke at the beginning again. I don't know, like, is this Osu, like, just doesn't want to play the beginning of every map? Maybe. Uh, but everyone else is FCing. And Semi is, like, I mean, he's missing a little combo that he may as well be FCing. So, very even right now. Um, okay. Well, that break will have a lot more influence from Semi. And also Amuro breaking, which I didn't really catch. So Duxel is uh, very much in control right now. Want to shout out Crazy with the, the SS right now. I mean, this is not necessarily the hardest map to act, but definitely diffing the rest of the lobby in that respect uh, for the time being. Oh my gosh, okay, well, Amaro broke right after the break. Uh, he had already broken, so it's not the worst. Garlu trading out is pretty good for white people happy. But they're absolutely gonna need more from Duxol, because it is 3 FC to 2 right now. Oh, crazy, actually dropping. Maybe a bit of a curse there, but um, yeah, now it's 2 FC to 2, and the story is gonna just about stagnate. So, any more errors from Duxol, and it might start going over to white people happy. Yeah, we are almost approaching the big uh, square jump part, which is probably the part you would expect to see the most breaks on. So we'll see which team bites here. I mean, both of them have basically identical combo right now, so uh, whoever breaks is really going to disturb the, the equilibrium here. 
So I might get crazy trading. But that does that still actually keeps things pretty even. Uh, and finally we're getting to square jumps right here. So who is respecting the snap aim? Uh, not Wildcat apparently. It's gonna be one of C to two now. But if Shrevy's gonna break as well, so now it's just uh Lujo versus Kragami. But that bit of time where white people had the advantage did kind of inch it towards them, so they do have an opportunity if we see any more issues from Duxx Duxall. But yeah, and of course it's the 1v1 that's very critical right now. Of Lujol versus uh, Gagabi. I mean, it's basically the entire map riding on those two right now, if either of them finds the break. Um, and if not, then it will be Duxall's point here. Semi is really gonna help him out here. Yeah, Semi is not having... Not having his greatest match already, I would say. Um, but yeah, the rest of the map being relatively simple. I think Lujol will probably close this one out and bring his team to the finish line. Yeah, there is basically nothing in the map left, so it will be basically Duck Soul's point here. And uh, to add Soul to the wound, Kagami is going to miss out on the FC. Uh, meanwhile, Lujo is still going. He was the Duck Soul's first pick, and he's showing why right now. Scoring the only FC on this map. Alright. Wait, did he break at the beginning? Or did he break at the end? Okay, well, whatever. Apparently, it was not an FC from Lujol. But it's still above 1 million, so... Basically, just as good. Uh, but yeah, white people can happy gonna go for another... One of more, like, predictable picks. Uh, they're gonna go for DT3. Which, if the, uh... If the client will show... Yep, this is the stamina map in this pool. Another uh, old map, just like the last one. And uh, basically the only thing being tested is stream stamina. There's not much finger control. There's not much aim. Although, you know how it is with speed players? Never count on- no, never count them out to miss on random jumps. Yeah, it's just streams that are- the streams are not even spaced out at all. They're like stack streams. So, this is basically as pure of a stamina check as you can get. And yeah, white people have, you have a very good roster for this. I think Cone Cone and FNQL will be- have no sort of issues with tapping this. Flamestear also a pretty good speed player. Uh, as of late, he has said his stamina is not so good on this BPM, but I think it can make it work, and same would go for Gaston. Meanwhile, on uh, Duxol, we have Crazy and Garlulu. I mean, Garlulu is a tapping player. I think he can do pretty good on this, but Crazy, not really known for this. Rest of Duxol, not really known for this. So, pretty well educated pick from White People Happy. I think maybe they will get, like, I I'm looking at their roster again, they'll probably get, like, Death Hydra in, and, like, maybe Wide Cat. That's my prediction. So, yeah, no breakpoints taken so far, and, um, white people happy are gonna try to continue to uh, continue having that be the case. Actually gonna be Yuxico in, who um, I know much better for playing Hard Rock. So don't know if this is really up his alley, but if it is, it is his time to prove it. Okay, we missed the intro. 
Uh, right off the bat, it looks like a lot of people did not have a good time. But I think that was probably just Banjo. Okay, yeah, everyone is FCing right now. Uh, Eggman is actually in favor of Ducks all teams. So yeah, it is just a waiting game for the, uh, the first break. And it is kind of filler until the first, like, death stream part. So, might have to wait a little bit to see that happen. None of the players breaking on the, like, hexagon geometric jumps. Good to see. But yeah, the Acolyte is actually going quite far in favor of Duxel right now. Um, a lot off of Wildcat, who is holding SS right now. But, I mean, the rest of their team is actually very solid right now, above 99. But we'll see if that holds through the very long streams here. Crazy dropping to Mac. But it seems like everyone in the lobby is actually just nailing it. So, I guess both teams are uh, pretty comfortable with this. But the Ag lead after this is going to go to White People Happy. Uh, trading between Garlulu and Flames tier. But Crazy gonna drop at the end as well. And, oh boy, Crazy's Ag. Oh no. He was forced to play DT3. But, not just to rag on him, but uh, I guess Flames tier also finding some sort of uncharacteristic issues. But yeah, now with two FCs to three, it's going to be very solidly in... Wide people happy's um, court here. And yeah, they have this uh, bit of freer part to try to inch this out, so it's going to be very good for them now. But they will need to avoid finding some kind of catastrophe on the ending. Which is possible on this kind of map, where the streams get really long. FNQ1 finding a break on jumps. A map? A map? Actually, this um, sort of opens the door for Duxel. I mean, they have the combo lead now, but... I don't think it goes over rapidly enough to them unless white people happy give them way more. Yeah, and with Lycat breaking, that's just not going to be the case. It will be white people happy probably securing their second play here. And yeah, we can see a lot of players kind of struggling at this point. I mean, it's a very long stream. I cannot blame them. But yeah, the act is going way in favor of white people happy now. So yeah, um... Yeah, real standout here. Uh, the FC? Is it FC? I believe it is. From Kon Kon Kitsune. I mean, that's like one of the main things he was picked up for is speed stamina. And he has absolutely performed on that skill set. <laughs> Gaston also with the B rank 860k. I mean, you cannot argue with the results. That is a high score in this lobby, so. But yep, it is now Duxel's turn to try to also take their own point here. I mean, it has, as has been the theme of this match, both teams are taking their own picks pretty, uh, pretty well so far. I do think we're going to see Nomad 4 or Nomad 5. Because I think on Gimkir skill sets, I, I think Duxel just has a more solid roster. I guess Nomad 4 is a bit more of a coin flip. Because it's a map that you can learn, even if you're not a gimmick player. But I think Nomad 5 would be pretty good for them. It's a pretty hard map too, so it is one you could feel pretty solid about picking if you feel good on the map. But no, actually they're going to go for uh, free mod 1. So they picked some aim earlier and they're going to pick aim again. Um. So yeah, uh, another pretty well known map. Uh, older map done by Miss Magius. Uh, not my favorite map personally, but I know some people like their maps a lot. Um, it is just aim consistency at a pretty low BPM. 171 BPM, not really a... Uh, very, it's pretty low nowadays for an aim slot. So when you have very low BPM, you know what that means? You have very high spacing jumps. And that's basically what you get with this map. I 
And I mean, uh, Dunk Soul won an aim map by a lot earlier in this match. The Nomad one. And this is what I would say is probably a harder aim map at that. So, definitely see where this is coming from. They have a very good chance to take this. In terms of aim, uh, the player that stands out to me in this lobby is Lujul, or MX10006. Um, he's like an aim specialist, pretty proficient on it on any mod, so expecting great things out of him. I mean, he is also Dark Souls first pick, so I'm sure they're expecting great things as well. In terms of mod choices, um, hmm. I mean, not a lot of people happy. I definitely expect the Flames to your Hard Rock Extremities hidden. I don't know about the rest of them though. Uh, at Death Hydra, the easy multiplier is 1.75. Uh, I highly doubt it's worth to take easy on this kind of map. Um, doesn't really strike me as a map that plays well with easy. Because, yeah, if you have easy multiplier, 1.75, then if you FC with easy, it uh, will not be as high of a score as if you FC with no mod. Well, you can't play no mod, but you get you get the point. FC with a quote-unquote actual mod. Oh my god. Oh my god. No way. Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> He's actually, he actually went easy. Okay. Well, if there is a guy to do it, it is extremities, but... Uh, Strike me as very surprised that he's this confident. So yeah, do keep in mind when you're watching the stream that uh, why people's happy score will be uh, actually significantly higher than what you see because extremity score will be not doubled but like almost doubled. Yeah, I mean, he's showing off. He's kind of stealing the show. He's showing off his stuff pretty well right now. Um, he is FC up to this point. Granted, the map is not so hard up to this point either. But uh, it's not going to mean anything if uh, Duxall is going to hold the combos everywhere, but Lujul going to break, actually. So combo advantage is actually squarely in white people happy's favor right now. Bro, even though I know it's not as influential when it comes to raw score, my, my eyes is just drawn to watching extremities here. Um, it's not a very common skill set for people to have to be able to read AR like below 5 on this sort of stuff, so... Um, that's something you see every day, but... I guess Dark Soul is not super entertained by this, because they are still... Actually, no, they're not winning right now. And why people have they are actually winning right now, uh, especially with the white cat breaking there. And so yeah, maybe the gamble is really paying off right now. I mean, not saying it's all on extremities because like white people have the everyone else there is doing pretty well as well. All of them basically having FCs, Flamester only with their very early break. Yeah, things are looking very very bad for Ducks all right now. Uh, their only FC up right now is Sandro. He is really their uh, last hope here. I could be gonna give them something, but like, they're still facing up against three FCs, and the score lead is once again it's even worse for Dark Soul than it looks because five people have the have oh extremities race though, and that's actually big. That was a break exactly halfway, and if you play tourneys, you know how hard that score caps you. Yeah, so Dark Soul probably smelling the blood in the water. Um, if they keep holding, I think they can take it back. Because uh, now Extremities is going to be capped at basically like... Maybe like 500k score. Uh, but they really need their existing combos to keep holding through this last part, which is really the hardest part of the map. 
Probably need to break this out of semi. Flamester. Uh, Flamester is going to give it to them. Bit of a charitable donation. Uh, but might need it out of semi as well. I mean, you can see the score lead is still very in white people happy's favor. But there is a. They do kind of have time though. As you can see on Sandrone, for example, he has like 400k score uh, left to, to build, potentially. And semi breaking is gonna make things pretty good for Duxel. Um, but. Uh, it's that easy to multiplier, man. They need actually a lot more than it looks like. I mean, they get the score lead nominally right now, but they need. Uh, how much more? Than, uh, it's just not gonna happen, because Sandro's gone. And I think that break might doom them here. I mean, Illusion's gonna continue trying to keep the score lead back, but might not end up very close, but I think Extremities has done enough, and all of White People Heavy have done enough. Um, so the gamble might be paying off right now. Well, he's gonna be very close, actually. So the score lead in favor of Duxal is 120k. So, if you do some quick math, then I think you are able to tell that's not sufficient. And it will actually be White People Heavy's uh, point right here. So we're gonna get that edited over here. Yeah, I don't want you for extremities that he didn't get the FC there. I mean, he found literally just one side of break. He was almost the only FC on their team. So... And I mean, you can see also that extremity score was not even numerically that high compared to the others. But if they needed like a force player fill right there, then that was a very effective choice. So yeah, actually going to be the first breakpoint of the map of the entire match here. So why are people happy going to take the advantage here? Because they do have their own pick as well. So we're gonna try to consolidate that break point, of course. Uh, but I think they could go Hard Rock 1. They could also go, like, I could see uh, a DT1 could also be an option. Or probably one of those two. That's my, that's my prediction. But of course there is always curveballs in these sorts of pools. Um, that's one of them. <laughs> Nova 2. Uh, which I think normally would be a pretty uh, even pick between these two teams But because this Nova 2 is kind of heavier on tapping than a typical Nova 2 I think this brings it a bit more in Why people happy's game a bit more up their alley than Duxel's I mean they have um, seeming to be winning on speed right now so Gonna try to push that advantage to the absolute maximum here. So yeah, this this map is a um, bit of a interesting one, kind of off meta because it's it's an older map. It's like a 2012 map, uh, so you get that kind of old map flavor, where it has a lot of jumps that are kind of uncharacteristically like uncomfortable. So yeah, I do actually expect to see a lot of people missing on those. Because um, you kind of have to alt them. And it's pretty awkward, especially for like mechanics players who don't necessarily want to be playing a lot of like awkward aim. That alongside the uh, Air 9, which makes it a bit of a more, like a very dense map. So it looks like they just rolled for a roster here between Kagami and FNQL. Um, I think Kagami on this BPM can do plenty fine, but clearly they think both of their options are uh, pretty good here. Meanwhile, on side of Duxel, uh, we're gonna have Garlu look crazy. Um, I think it's just about the same roster they had on Midorigo Queen Bee, which. It does make a lot of sense because it's a very similar map, very based on raw stamina. But this one has a lot more awkwardness and alt aim element to it. So maybe the outcome can be different. Yeah, 
Yep, good luck, have fun, it's coming out, and we'll be playing the map very shortly. Do you want to point out, um, as far as scores I already know of, I believe Flamesteer has an FC on the leaderboard. So, he kind of fell a bit short on the other sim in the map, but I think this is, uh, much, this is a much better map for him, it seems. But yeah, white people with a pretty strong roster for this, I think. Um, as I say that, the Gaston's gonna find a very early break. Gonna drop a lot of Ack in the process, so we're gonna lead, gonna go to Dark Soul. But this is a bit of a lengthy pick here, four minutes, so very early breaks are not gonna have too much influence. So in terms of accuracy, I mean once again, like the last speed map, uh, Duxel is going to start with their Ackley, so what really is in question is if they can keep it. Uh, Gaston and Garlu are seeming to find some issues on AIM here, uh, so trading it out at exactly the same time gonna, was going to keep it even, but then the Eagle Envy was broken, and now it's in favor of white people happy with Sandro breaking. But it seems like Gaston's having a lot of like repeated issues, oh my god, AIM map bro. Uh, crazy gonna be gone from that, and so is Garlulu, so now it's gonna leave Yuixo on his lonesome. Uh, meanwhile, he's facing off against three FCs from white people happy side. So yeah, things looking very good for white people happy. Okay, Kaga be finds a very random break as well. I mean, this is kind of map where that can happen. You just find those random, random patterns you miss on. He just feels like you should not have missed. Uh, but it is what it is, and it is kind of happening to both teams, I think. Uh, crazy good, crazy gonna find another break right there. Actually, finding a lot of repeated breaks. This kind of map where a lot of the people who are breaking are finding a lot of repeat breaks. So it's really gonna put a lot more pressure on the FCs here. Uh, Yuxigo, Konkon, and Flamesteer. As we get into, uh, oh my god. What was... <laughs> You can't be doing that, bro. <laughs> bro missed on like a like a bus slider or something. Okay, so now it's gonna be Uixico, uh versus Flames during this break. And after that break, they can see um, those two could see that and their whole teams are relying on them right now. So nerves could be playing a role here, but so far both looking calm and cut. Oh, not on Uixico side, but neither on Flames so they broke broke. So then now it's gonna leave things kind of in the balance. No big combos, everybody kind of struggling now. Uh, the closest thing to a combo is Garlulu, but he's gone too. Um, so, f everyone finding quite the struggles right now. But, if all the trades remain equal until the end of the map, it's gonna be really good for one people happy. I mean, approximately the combos are like just about even right now. But, don't know how much I would trust that to uh, keep holding because of the... Very frequent misses for both teams. Flames are a bit frustrated with uh, how that was going, it seems. But, I mean, little does he know, his team is still in a pretty solid position. And yeah, on the tail end of this solo, it's really been Duxel finding way more issues than white people happy. Whoever covered... Okay, Gaston got him mapped again. Alright. <laughs> but, um... There's nothing Duxel can really do to punish those sort of mistakes right now. Because they don't have the combo to try to fight back. Because it's Kone Kone Kate today. Um, after the, that one extremely random bus fighter break, it seems like he's comboed everything. And he's going to carry this point into the finish line. Very long stream at the end here. A lot of meltdowns, not entirely unexpected. Um, but there was nothing left to be decided. And it is why people happy going to come out on top here. Yep, so now it's, uh, now it's Duxel's time to pick, but for the first time, I think they're put into, uh, 
pretty rough situation in this match. I mean, of course, you can see they're just down two points here. But it's also the first time they've been down this much. Because it was pretty, pretty even Sneven up until now. Uh, but as of very recent, it's white people happy taking the advantage in terms of the whole match. So hopefully they will not crack too much under the pressure for their own sake. Gonna go for a lot more aim here. More hidden, more aim uh, with hidden one. I'm a bit surprised they're leaving some of the more adventurous picks out there. I mean, it seems like they just want to play aim right now. Um, which, I mean, sure, if that's their game plan, but I feel like those Nomad 4 and Nomad 5 could have been good picks. But clearly they don't think so, so here they're going to go for a hidden one. And so this hidden one is a... It's not, not too weird of a pick, it's a pretty normal hidden one. Kind of has a bit more of a burst and tapping element to it than normal. Because, uh, especially towards the end, this kind of has some streams as well. But... It's that, plus pretty comfortable aim. So all in all, a pretty standard pick. And in my opinion, one of the easier ones. So one where errors will be sorely punished, I believe. And it does seem like Dark Soul is kind of the better aim team. But uh, they did let up the like the free mod one earlier, so that's a little bit in question right now. So they gotta keep their cool and um, try to get this comeback rolling here. I mean, also talking about the the mod comfort, I think that's definitely on the side of Duxel for hidden. They have a lot more, I guess hidden comfortable players than when people happy. But granted this is not really really hard map or it's not really low AR either. So you don't really need to be a dedicated hidden player for this. But yeah. Beginning of this map pretty tame. Uh, I'm gonna find a very early break. That will actually have um, rather dire consequences already for white people I think. Considering Duxel has a lot more time to bang up lead. Extremity's gonna find break as well. And don't things looking up for Duxel right now. I mean, you could see how chill the, the song and the map is for the beginning. So, like, if you drop then, then, uh, not really something you can afford to do. Because very swiftly, it's Duxall taking a whole, like, 100k, 200k lead off of just those two little mistakes. Not to say it's over by any means, uh, because... White people happy still have the two FCs. Death Hydra is gonna give them something, so the combo is gonna stop the bleeding for a white people happy now. I'm roll breaking. Oh, here's Kagami. Disaster striking for white people happy. And now Dunk's all a very commanding lead here. No one getting bus lettered. And you can just see that lead expanding. Oh, it looked like Lujo no locked like that entire part, but uh. And you still got the combo, and that's what matters. Crazy gonna trade it. Not trade it out, I mean, he just drops, but uh. White people doesn't have too much to combat it with. Especially when they're facing off against two FCs from uh, Wujul and White Cat, both with the same act. Um, just hanging around that very solid 99%. So yeah, I was gonna say it's semi trying to pick up the slack for his team, but uh, getting into the stream part, which is like something he's less comfortable with, kind of falling apart here. Yeah, so this is going very downhill for white people happy, and it should be just about locked up for uh, Ducks all here. Just love to see if Wycat and uh, Lujo could hold up these FCs would be a pretty good place. Hitting those big bit of a space through streams. Uh, Wycat gonna find the break at the end, but Lujo gonna close it out. And for the first time in a while, we see a very convincing point for Duxel. Very good way to try to get them back into the match here. I agree that it is their own pick, so white people happy will have the opportunity to pick something that should be favored to them. 
and they're gonna go for DT1 very uh, very swiftly did not have to think very long about that pick And so yeah, this is um, another one of the experimental picks in this pool. Uh, normally this slot is all about DT aim, but uh, it's still about high AR aim, but it's a much more kind of techie map than you would expect. Has a lot of slider jumps that force you to be like actually comfortable with 10.3. I think there's like a fair amount of players where they can read 10.3 on simple patterning like farm map patterning but if you give them some aim that's a bit more complex in nature then it's very possible for some people to fall apart and on the side of white people happy i think they have very comfortable 10.3 readers um, i know for a fact uh Kon Kon and flamester very good at 10.3 reading i believe uh, amuro kagami can also do pretty well on this Meanwhile, Ducks all, um... Done a force sale crazy for one, who has been kind of one of their mainstays. So they're gonna really have to change up the roster here. Yeah, I don't really know who on their team is really a high AR enjoyer, but... If any of them have some hidden talents, then now's the time to show it off. Alright, finally we'll be playing the map. So the roster decisions is going to be uh, Wide Cat, Crazy, Sandrone. Okay. Um, I do believe they're missing Yexa. I don't know if he would be playing this, but just something interesting to know. They don't have their captain. So a bit of a reduced roster here, but it is what it is. And um, pretty tame intro. Don't want to see any breaks uh, too early. Very nice Hatsuki Yura song. I am number one Hatsuki Yura fan. No one like visibly uncomfortable. I mean the acts are pretty good across the board. Um, if we're going above 98, I guess besides FNQL. Uh, okay, and it seems like he is the one to have issues because he has broken before the hard part even. I'm gonna trade it. Uh, I'm also gonna drop here. So, very short map, Duxol is going to take a big lead very quickly. Already 100k, but it's going to be stopping- Oh my god, that's a 4-way break for Duxol. And that is reversed very quickly. And Flamester is the only one with a combo here. So yeah, very quick shifts in, I guess, momentum in the score. But Flamester is the one to hold it out here. I mean, the rest of his team is a bit down in combo, but it does not matter when he is holding. Um... So he just needs to keep it for a bit longer, and then he's gonna basically secure it. And his whole team breaks. That's actually kind of a problem. I mean, you can see the score kind of going to Duck Cell, but with Flamester not dropping, long term, they have it in the bag. Yeah, not looking like he wants to do so. Flamester hitting the speed. I mean, he is a speed player. Uh, but also a player, it seems. 10.3 tech guy. And already eclipsing 1 million score, and yeah, this is a solo carry if I've ever seen one. It's a very good job to play Fury. It does close out the MC. But yeah, you can see like the scores across the board. Everyone getting like 500k approximately. Um, but Flamester, above that rookie stuff, I guess. He got basically double what anyone else in the lobby got. So he was the real difference maker here. And finally, Duxel is going to go for a bit of a um, gimmickier pick that I was expecting. 
Uh, Nomad 4. So yeah, this Nomad 4, Aspire map, need I say more than that? Um, I mean, to explain exactly, uh, Aspire mapping, of course, is the mapping contest where the mappers are encouraged to kind of map outside of the rules, outside of the ranking criteria. And that's a very fancy speak for the map is very weird. <laughs> it has some sliders that don't follow the way you expect them to at all. It has some to be, which means there are some notes that like occur at the same time as other notes. Um, has a very famous uh, butterfly slider expansion part as well. Yeah. Do you want to highlight uh, Amuro and Kagami, who seem to be like um, filling like a lot of different sorts of maps and doing a pretty pretty good job of it as of so far. So looks like they're going to be doing the same again. Meanwhile, I saw Extremities in. I don't think there's any world where Extremities doesn't play this, because Extremities is like <laughs> something this like weird and gimmicky that is like. That is his territory. Yeah, meanwhile, Duck Soul, I don't really know who's gonna play this, but I know Crazy can do good on this. He's pretty good at gimmick skill sets. Yeah, it really just comes down to who had the tolerance to go and practice this map in the edit and look at the editor for like 10 minutes or so. So, can't tell you too much who's done their homework here. I mean, it is taking Ducks all kind of a hot second to get their players in. Might be seeing Code Code Kitsune in. Bit interesting. This is really not the kind of thing you expect them to be playing. Because kind of the diametrically opposite to his, uh, like, forte and speed. But looking like he uh, might be the man for the job. We have Duck Salt, we're getting in Sandro and Death Hydra. Both rosters completed. And now we're at a very tense point in the match where white people happy have the match point here. So Duck Salt cannot afford any more mistakes. Uh, so it's gonna be them out of the game or inching us towards the tiebreaker. But yeah, this is a pretty, pretty wild pick. If you don't know this map already, I mean, it's a very famous map, but if you don't know it already, then you're going to see what it's all about just about now. First challenging part. So Extremity is actually the first one to break. Um, not what I expected to see, so very, uh, very good sight if you're a dog saw, but very much early days, so nothing decided yet. Very weird slider, uh, Kon Kon, Amuro, Sandro are gonna be caught off by that. Yeah, that slider is pretty tricky because you have to do like a, a beard of weird tapping technique to not slider break. But, uh, that is in the past, we look towards the future. Uh, in the future, Duxal is hopefully gonna be getting this point here. Well, for them, hopefully. But yeah, those slider arts and Extremity's gonna find another break. Um, so yeah, kind of dedicated giving player not doing the greatest on this right now. Um, And things are looking very good for Duxal as at the, right, the current moment. I mean, they have this bit of a more normal part to try to get some more combo. Amuro is going to find the break! And they really have nothing. And look how well Duxal is still here. They basically have um, they have three FCs and one good combo. Uh, two going to be eaten by that butterfly. But why do have you also completely gone? I mean, that part can be very challenging to get the right tapping rhythm for. But um, regardless of the cause... The only one with the combo is Garlulu. Really his time to shine right now. And I think Duxol has really uh, already done enough. But, um... Okay, he got caught off guard by the, like, quick slider reverse there. The pseudo-reverse. 
So there will be no FC for Carlulu, but there is basically no chance of white people having taken this one back. Because there is not that much score left to be had in this map. I mean, they have the slightest of combo advantages, but it is all for naught. And it will be Duxall taking their own pick. Their last pick. And finally, we have the circles going off the screen. Good morning. Hello, GWK. Welcome. Um, hello, hello. You can see right now. Um... Oh, very, very, uh, very late stage of the match. Just to recap for GWK and also the the stream audience, every team took their own points, like all of them, except Duxall. Right. Duxall lost Piranha, and that's the reason why people was winning right now. 50-50 map, understandable. Yeah. You can't really blame them. That's kind of RNG map, but um. So yeah, it's uh, white people happy with the pick now. Uh, if the. Bro, client should switch to the map pool, or I can just switch it myself. But yeah, you can see here, uh, white people have really loved their hard rock, loved their mechanics. I think they'll pick hard rock one. I don't see what else they pick. I mean, I think did it for. I think know? maybe did. That's kind. Of, that's a very. Uh... No, no timeout. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like they just go hard rock one though. Well, five minute timeout? No way. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. What? <laughs> what? That's a whole of tiebreaker. I mean, I know OWC allows timeouts, but they're only two minutes long. Yeah, five okay, minutes two is minutes bro. Makes sense. Five minutes is too much. No, no, no. There's if it's not on four, it's not allowed. No way. Oh, wait, actually, uh, why do people just pick hard uh, DT one? They can't pick DT four. They can't double pick. Oh, all right, all right. All right. So, yeah. Well, what else do they go for then? Hard rock one, no, surely. That works. I mean. I, I, maybe free mod 3, maybe? What, I, I don't know what else they do though. Cause like, no mod 5 is like the int, int gimmick map. I don't think they want to play that. No, 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 no. I think no mod 3 cause it's fun. But I think- Yeah, no mod 3 is fun, but okay. Hard rock, hard rock one, hard rock one. Yeah. Um, can you fix your discord stream? Uh, you want it bigger? No, it's low quality. Oh. I'm trying. I also don't have Nitro, so that might be the problem. Oh. But I'll try to do higher, like, quality. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's gonna work at all. I mean, that's the best I, think I can do. I think it was a Discord problem, not really a... Yeah, that's the best I can do. Okay, well, it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, white people is gonna really stick to their game plan here. I mean, they're a team that likes speed and, like, high AR and, like, hard rack. So they're going- they're gonna complete the strategy here. And this map is a bit of a weirder one, because it kind of has more reading than you'd expect. Um, originally it was mapped as like a hidden two, but now it's thrown in hard yeah, rock. Not not the usual hard rock one to be honest. Yeah. There's some doubles in the middle which can't really throw you off. So yeah, one you really want to have practiced, but if you are familiar with the rhythms, then it mostly just comes down to low BPM aim, which has been shown to be kind of volatile between both teams. Like both teams can win this, I think. I mean, as a caster, of course, I'm rooting for Duxall because they want a tiebreaker, but... Oh, that's true. That's true. Tiebreaker would be quite high. Yeah. Oh, I should switch back. Okay. But yeah, we have the completed rosters for both teams here. No flames here. Really? Maybe he does. Wait, maybe he, maybe he just doesn't I mean, like this. Maybe he just doesn't what, like this map. But uh. 
Okay, what? what? Okay. I mean, no, no, no. Well, his team, like, kind of makes sense because his whole team is, like, good at Hard Rock. But, I mean, he is their, like, second pick. And Hard Rock is kind of, like, one of his main skill sets. So, yeah, it's a I bit weird. Know. I don't know what's going on here. But, I mean... Alright. I don't I don't blame him. This map is garbage for Hard Rock. <laughs> um, I don't want to question it too much because I, I, I still like their roster. Meanwhile, Duxel, they have Lujol. Who is like the aim legend on any mod, and yeah, uh, the too is does, really does, good doesn't matter what mod, miss. and yeah, um, Yusuko, especially on Hard Rock. Uh, so I kind of like what I see for both rosters. So just gonna be who edges out on the day. Semi and Kong uh, Kids on everything. Yeah, pretty early. Won't be too much of a detriment, but yeah, especially with White oh, Cat trading it. Yeah, White White Cat breaking gives up everything. That they grind there. He's kind of struggling on Ack, which is a little bit concerning, but he has time to recover if he's gonna start playing, um, I guess, more up to his standard. I mean, actually, the Acts across the board are, like, not very good. They're better on Ducks, though. Yeah, I mean, this map has a lot of, like, it's not very conventional aim. It's like last kind of weird geometric-ish patterns. Oh, Lujo breaking though. That's not oh, what you see at Duxel. So oh, that's, that's like huge. that's he's like their carry. Um, and so yeah, break combo leads combo him. leads squarely in favor of white people happy. Uh, no one having too many problems with the rhythms though. So I think everyone has done their homework here. Yeah, a bit of fill apart, and white people happy is gonna make try to make the best of it. Cause they are um I mean they're in control for right now, but they could be ejected from this driver's seat very quickly if they find any breaks. Cause Duxol is not behind very far. Oh I'm real breaking! And that's gonna break Oh but Death Hydra trades it! Oh but Kagami does as well! Amazing. And so yeah, combo lead, uh, pretty good for Duxel right now, but tricky doubles part. Kagami Very tense. Any miss from Sammy or Kongo gets on it, and it's completely over. Oh, Kongo goes down! Kongo goes down, no! Wait, it's not my goes down right after! That's actually, no. that is a disaster for white people happy. That is, that is scripted. <laughs> they, they remembered the script at that very moment. Right. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, tiebreaker, yeah. Um, but, I mean, Dark Souls not out of the- I want to say they're not out of the woods yet, but like, look how fast they're gaining score lead. Because, why people have you have nothing? They have literally nothing. It's like, near 2 FCS to nothing. Yeah, it's semi finding more issues. And like, years ago, this guy was the last guy drafted in the entire tournament. And he's proven that it was worth it right now. He was, he's a, he's a great... So yeah, cool. mechanics player overall. Clutch pickup from Duxel. Clutch play from Yuxico. Um Also, White Cat. Okay, well he broke, but his score is still a lot better than anyone on White People Happy's. Finally, Yuxico is gonna go down, so not gonna score FC. Kind of a shame, but it is what it is. He has done enough though, and we are going to the the High tiebreaker. Breaker. Oh, this is hype. This is hype, hype, hype. Yeah, and the match that. It was both teams taking their own points like the whole time. Duxel needed to answer back and they finally have. And so grats to them here. They have forced the tiebreaker. Or should we say the tiebreakers? Because three tiebreaker system. Uh, both teams are gonna ban one tiebreaker here. And yeah, so to describe these maps, uh, Sentimental Skyscraper, pretty well known. It's a kind of dense aim. It's like AR9 aim. A very spaced, very awkward. Uh, we have a tiebreaker 2. It's basically an 8 minute long Nomad 2. It's just streams. 200 BBM streams all the way through. Also, it's a very long break, <laughs> which will be funny to say the least if we play that. Um, and then the last one is a hard slider tech map. Um, and it has some weird flow aim as well. So yeah, a lot of very different maps here. I think Duxol bans Tiebreaker 2. I think White People bans... I think that's more up in the air what they ban. 
What do, what do you think? Um, I will not catch top at all. So, what even are these maps? I'm guessing aim, streams, and tech. Didn't you I see? I believe the streams uh, favor more Team Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying Ducks will have been TB2 almost surely. Okay, I believe this TB1 will be like 50 50. I think, yeah, people might ban Tiebreaker 3. Because this is a super weird map. Oh, wait, no! Oh. Okay! So I assume why people have been Tiebreaker 1 then. Okay, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm guessing because Flames maybe cannot play due to the AR. I'm not sure though. Don't... Yeah. So, okay, so it was, yeah. People banned Tiebreaker 1. Duck Cell Band, Tiebreaker 2, so roughly what yep, we expected. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, what this map brings, I hope you love Slider Tech, because if you don't, you're not going to have a good time at all. Um, because there's people who can fill tech maps, and then there are actual tech players. And I'm saying you really need to be an actual tech player for this one. Because those sliders cover like the whole screen. Very modern mapping um, sort of stuff. But yeah, I mean, this is a skill set that it's not really anywhere else in the pool. So you couldn't really say definitively like that one team is way better than the other on this. I think if I was a betting man, I would probably think Duxel has a bit of an edge, but uh... Yeah, I believe Duxel has better aimish, techish players, but I don't know the map, so everything could go... It's a lot of, way. lot of slider aim, but then also, like, the part you're hearing on the preview right now, that part has a lot of, like, flow aim as well, like, slider flow aim. So it's kind of all-rounded tech. Yeah, also, there's a lot of opportunity for... Um, oh my god, it's crazy sight reading. Oh no. <laughs> you do not oh. want to sight read this, let me tell you that. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, on side of white people happy, I think their, their main carry needs to be Semi. Like, Semi plays this sort of stuff for breakfast. If, if there, it is really his time to shine, I think. I mean, some of the earlier maps, it seems like he was having some sort of computer problems. And then underperforming a little bit, but... He has a time to make it really count, like, right now. I think these are the rosters. Uh, what? This, this would probably be the... The finishing rosters for I, both I, games. Watch I it, bro. People, I think so. Ducks all, I think they'll have... I mean, they've had Wildcat play a lot of different stuff, but I know he doesn't really like I tech. thought Death Hydra would play this. I guess not. I mean, maybe. Oh, Lujo makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That works. But yeah, I think you're gonna see this tiebreaker makes it extremely obvious. Like... Semi Kagami Amuro and Kongo Kitsune for Team Blue. Pretty good players overall for tech and aim. Yeah, but this map just makes it painfully obvious who is like a real tech player pretty much. Um, and yeah, I, I would call this one of the hardest five star maps like out there. Okay, that, okay maybe besides like low AR bullshit. Yeah, very tough one. Don't let the star rating deceive you at all. Like, I would consider, like, 400-500k to be, like, a good score on this, personally. Also, it's a very, very intense song. I mean, that's always what you love to see on Tiebreaker, so we are finally into it. The yeah, final... Be a pretty high tiebreaker. Yeah, this is the final stopping point. In any awesome match, and we have finally arrived. Both teams showing they are pretty equally matched on. Well, they have their own skill sets or whatever, but this is something. It does really anyone's game. But yeah, just a bit of a slow intro. 
Um, I wonder if anyone has actually practiced this. Because I know a lot of people. Oh, Sandro, no! Uh, Ooh, Sandro that's, that's not a good start from Duck, so I'll tell you that. But with how many breaks, I'm probably expecting to see um, it might be. Okay, Kongo Kitsune, oh, we're gonna Kitsune get caught up very early. Oh, so, oh, oh my god, so Henry many Amuro. slider breaks, especially semi, that's not good for white people happy. Oh, so there's still Garlu missing, but, Sandro missing too. Yeah, we might, be crazy, seeing, yeah. we might be seeing a bit of spaghetti, because I don't know how much. Uh, it doesn't really look like they've practiced this too much. Um, oh, yeah, no, real, it's from Tim Bro. Really challenging slider aim right here. Um, and Lujol, the shining star right now, he is still holding onto the combo. But as a team, oh, and he's gone. And white oh, people happy. Team. The white people happy recoveries are much superior, I think. Yeah, semi. Oh, everyone, wait, it's semi mistakes. time, dude. Only semi holding. Oh, but he finds oh, the break. Sorry, missing. Everyone missing. Yeah, no. Any, any, any combo held by anyone any at any point combo. is so important because everyone has nothing right now. Oh, Kong Kong is going to break right, and Amro too, and it's getting into a, a bit of a tamer part right after this. Oh, this so, so Duxal has Not a very good, Duxal has a really good opportunity to try to, like, get into that free part. And, oh my god, why people happy is just not having it right now. Can, they can't really hold any combo right now. If it goes like this, Team, team Red just wins this. I mean, for as bad as it really looked, I mean, they have Semi and Amro with something at least, so they're banking up something. Yeah, but it's getting it's getting uh, matched by Sanjo and Luzon. Yeah, but it, it's just damage control and to try to take it back in the last, like, Ki. But for the time being, it's going to go a lot in favor of Duxal. I mean, as much as we say a lot in favor, you can see the score, I mean, it's only 30k. Um, I mean, 30k really is kind of a lot in time breaking. Kind of a lot on a very hard map. So, yeah, that's a fair point. I currently like three big big combos on Team Red. My only only two on Team Blue. But yeah, I mean you can see what we're talking about the slower part here. I mean like why people hasn't found any like random breaks that make this from bad to worse, but um very slowly, Duck's always accumulating much more and more lead here. But okay, so I don't think they're they're they're, right they're, they're they're not out of the woods. They need to survive this. Oh, oh my! You that's can't be doing so that. Massive. You cannot be doing that. Oh, wait. Only crazy, wait, crazy and semi. Semi, semi's your last hope, man. And he's gone. Oh, semi misses. I think it's over. Look at crazy though, dude. Wait, like, he's kind of going off. Going he's off. going off. Bro is like sight reading too apparently, but he's still playing it better than I can. Like, okay, he finally breaks. Oh, but... misses, but everyone has no combo. Oh, other than Sundrum, apparently with Hunter's combo. But it's like, with the nature of the scores that are it's just not high at all. If anyone can start holding a combo and white people happy, it would be big, but I just don't think they're gonna do it. Yeah, I think it's GG. I don't think they can. I mean, there's they... a lot of hard bars in the map so... left, but like... That's just really good for Duxal. It's gonna keep things where things are, probably. It's 100k lead, and Duxal will just gain more and more. Oh my god, a lot of misses there. And yeah, those really early errors in the first Ki is really gonna spell the doom of white people happy. Because there's just nothing they can do if they're not able to hold any combo into the ending. So yeah, this map, <laughs> a little bit hard, I'd say. Um, but... Not so readable, but I'll this map. Yeah. Maybe let this serve as a lesson to everyone who has not yet played your match. You need to practice your tiebreakers, and um, honestly, I don't even know if that was the difference. Please. I think Crazy didn't even practice it either, and he still got like the standout score here, um, okay, taking it taking good. it with the raw tech skill here, and yeah, until this very slow ending, bit somber. But Ducks all the ones who took this back from like a two point deficit, so really props to them. Very well deserved win, and that will be the end. <laughs> GG, well played. And so yeah, congratulations to Ducks all year. Um, oh, I'm trying to pull up the win screen. There we go. And I think it was a very much a team effort. I mean, like all the players played 
pretty well. They did what they needed to on their skill sets. And they went down a breakpoint pretty early, but didn't let it phase them. Took the match at the end. Good stuff to them. Uh, white people happy, of course, putting up a very good fight. Uh, gonna be very much looking out for them in the loser's bracket. I think they'll be very much a threat there. But yeah, that'll be it for us for now. Um, we're going to take a look at the later matches. Uh, this one has been won by Date He Rankers, 6-2 I believe. Um, the next one that I know will be streamed is uh, I Will Poop Everywhere versus Bleh. And then after that we will also stream ADS versus Bang Ring. I don't know if we'll get a streamer for this match, hopefully, but can't guarantee it. Alright, and that, that'll be all for us for now. Uh, I have a qualifier right. celebrity to make in half an hour. I need to go warm up. Uh, see you all shortly. Alright, see you guys. Yep, peace.